All right, guys, today I'm going to show you how to take apart this Toshiba Satellite U845-S602. This is an Ultrabook from late 2012. Um, it came with Windows 7 i5 processor. It came with a 500 gigabyte uh, standard hard drive as well as a SanDisk uh, 32 gigabyte SSD, which it mainly uses for hibernation and, and the, uh, the, the fast booting, which it really doesn't. Uh, I'm not too happy with the performance of these two, so I upgraded to a solid state disk from Samsung, uh, full solid state. And I'm gonna show you how to take this apart. It's a little confusing uh, at first if you haven't done it before, so I figured I'd demonstrate. So first step, as you'll notice, uh, there is no battery to remove. The battery is internal. So uh, I've actually removed uh, all the rubber things. I don't know what they're called, um, but there I did leave one so I can kind of show you how to get that out. I'm using a sharp object to get underneath of it and pull it up. And you'll find the screw under there. Some models have a torque screw right here. This one does not. It has a standard Phillips, but some you might see a torque screw, which is actually a security torx which you can get on eBay for two or three dollars normally. Maybe a little more, give or take. It's been a while. But uh, the confusing, tricky part about this one is you'll notice it has screws underneath these two back rubber uh, bumpers, I guess. Um, these are a little difficult to remove. You need like a sharp, something sharp to get underneath of it, like a small screwdriver, and slowly pry it across. It does have double-sided tape on the bottom. But, um, yeah, I've already removed it so it comes off a little easier than say like the first time and as you can see there's the double-sided tape or some kind of adhesive so as far as getting this off it also has plastic clips all the way around the unit I found it was easy to start in the front with a gift card and work your way around that will free the clips once those are free, uh, at the back, the back comes right off. But I wouldn't recommend starting at the back as the front's easier to pull off. So now you have it. You have your SSD, which basically you just remove these two screws right here. This little metal arm will come off and you can pull the drive out, unplug the connector. It's a seven millimeter solid state drive. You can see they're thinner than a regular hard drive. Uh, but the 7mm, uh, Samsung makes them, uh, that's making sure it is 7mm in height, but you need to confirm that. Now the memory's over here, um, that's, it goes to at least 8 gig, it may go to 16, but I only need 8. So I put two 4 gigabyte Crucial modules in there. These you just pry open the outer portions, pull it out like that. Put it back in, make sure it's firmly firmly pushed in and make sure both sides click in and as you can see here the wireless card is also upgradable um, I didn't find a need to update it it seems to be a pretty solid card so other than that uh, coolings everything else is pretty basic uh, the battery is removable by a bunch of screws but everything's right here easy to work on so let's uh, turn it back over fire it up You want to go around the edges, push those clips in. I'm not going to worry about putting screws. Well, you know what? I might put a screw in just to kind of show you. Put that middle screw in. And it has a rubber bumper. Now, keep in mind these rubber uh, bumper pieces are separate all the way across. So don't get confused about which goes where. Each of them is slightly different size. But they are numbered on the bottom. So... Flip it back over. Let's get this thing powered up. All 
as you can see there it does have the Samsung SSD 840 series 8192 megabytes of RAM it's 8 gigs and it's ready to install an operating system so hope hope you learned something from it um, you know it's just basically those two rubber pieces what throws people off so uh, other than that uh, have a good day